Welcome back, this is Jack. I'm a big fan of VR games, and it's not just because of the immersion, because VR horror games are the only ones that kind of actually scare me, but also the fitness benefits that come from it. So here are three VR games you need to add to your library. Obviously, these games can all be played using the different VR visors that are able to connect to the Steam library. I refuse to call it the MetaQuest. And additionally, I will have links to all of them in the description down below. Number one, No Man's Sky. It's no secret that No Man's Sky had a very rocky start, probably only comparable to Cyberpunk 2077. However, much like Cyberpunk 2077, they have done an amazing job of making the game they promised and then some in the case of No Man's Sky. One of the best reasons this is on the list is because if you already own No Man's Sky and you already enjoy No Man's Sky, you already can play it in VR. You don't have to spend another dollar, another dime to be able to play it in VR. While additionally, you can play with your friends who are not playing it in VR and you don't need to make a new save to do so. So if you want a casual space exploration, combat, whatever you want to do kind of a game, No Man's Sky is going to be the number one on your list. Number two, Phasmophobia. Like No Man's Sky, Phasmophobia is a game that if you already own the base game, you can automatically play it in VR and play with your friends who are not in VR. And of course, don't need to make a new save or new count. Not sure I really have to explain what Phasmophobia is because it's the number one game that a lot of Let's Players and streamers generally play. But for those who don't know, you're a ghost hunter. You hunt ghosts and it's very, very spooky. So if you want a good horror experience, this is probably one of the ones to get. And additionally, because you can play it out of VR, also a good experience. And it's a co-op for a person game, I forgot to mention. Number three, Blade and Sorcery. Blade and Sorcery is the benchmark that all other fantasy games, fantasy combat games, need to surpass or at least equal if they want to stand a chance of time. Right now, it is only a sandbox with its RPG elements on the way out sometime here in 2023. But it is such an open way of just being able to engage your opponent. You can engage them with magic, you can engage them with archery, or just a good old old stabity stab stab stab. My favorite method, put a little bit of fisticuffs. As a final note, this game is not only one of the best for cardio and fitness that I have felt, it's also just generally a great stress reliever. Nothing gets the anger out like going in there and having unalive contests with the gladiators in the arena. This is just a small selection of the great VR games you can find on Steam and other store places as well. And now is a very great time to get into it if you're even vaguely interested, as because the Oculus Quest 3 is coming out, the Quest 2 is starting to drop in price again so it becomes a lot more approachable. However, if you have motion sickness or or you have difficulty getting proper prescription for your uh, visor or anything like that, you might not be able to play, but it's still something worth looking at if you're able to. I'm a YouTuber, you know what you're supposed to do here.